Hello guys, welcome back to War Thunder and welcome to a video about the G55 Series 1. Now, I've been flying this plane for quite a while now, like I had it on my older account. Like, I have another account that I made for War Thunder and I wanted to test myself. How fast can I get to jets and, uh, well, well, do the fresh account. And uh, with the Italian tech tree, I did it like in three days or something. My record is still the Swedish tech tree with two days, but I I don't I don't even remember how it went like. But with the Italian tech tree, I really noticed a lot of good things about it. They their planes really are maneuverable, even though that they're heavy and slow at first glance. Once you get them spaded, it's it's really it's really fun to fly them. They're really 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 turny if like compared to spitfires they can keep up with spitfires but in the vertical they lose a lot of uh, energy that's that's what i really noticed like they don't have energy retention in the vertical at all and uh, the g uh, the g51 uh, i'm sorry the g55 before this one uh, well it had pretty that's pretty terrible climb rate. It doesn't have really good guns compared to this one, and this one is just like perfection. It is. It is really good. You get three MG one five ones with a couple of uh, no fifty cals, and uh, I struggled a little bit with this plane because I remember myself flying this with uh, tracers in my other account, and uh, no. Lately, I've been a fan of stealth, and I forgot, like, like my muscle memory is not the same, because with the introduction of patch 2.0, with uh, every single micro patch that people don't read, the damage model for planes has been buffed. Like, it's not like before at all. Before you'd use uh, Mangishuts on your MG-151s, you just load an air target belts and just in five shells you're going to break the wing of a spitfire or or a 51 like a p51 but now the damage model has been buffed greatly and it's really hard to take down planes with the uh, air target belts and what i really noticed is stealth well behaves a little bit like the older uh Air targets. The manga shoots in them. I I don't know. Does it have more manga shoots in stealth, or does it have less, or is it a completely different type of shot? I really don't know. But yeah, stealth has been really really beneficial for me because stealth is cheeky and uh, especially in headalls. And this plane really does headalls really good. And when you're head on, uh, head on an, an enemy player, you're, well, they're not expecting you to use stealth. They're waiting for that moment to see that little bit of a tracer so they can dodge, but all they're going to get is nothing. So yeah, that that's why I really really enjoy stealth because I I'm a fan of head-ons. I like head-ons and I like to do them perfectly. And that little bit of competitivity that stealth brings me yeah it's 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 fun but uh, getting back to the uh, battle i have my friend tudor uh, he's in the bf109 he just does some weird shit i don't know what he does he just pulls it off he just went into a furball and came out unharmed i quickly snap kill that uh, so8000 narwhal really dangerous plane if uh, people know how to use it and uh, thank god that i took it out the thing like has six mg 151s in the nose i really don't want to mess around with that and now it's time for the cleanup tudor has given me enough enough time to uh well get myself on track and i'm trying to attack this yak 9p real quick burst i break his plane in half and now i'm just focus mode because uh there is a sea fury 
that is uh, really messing up with my friendly he's coming towards me for help and i just focus him go directly to him and well a quick burst and the c fury is gone now an f82 is uh, one kilometer away from me i still have 600 uh, kilometers per hour i have a lot and a lot and a lot of energy so i can go after him he does not expect uh, me to have well stealth ammunition and long range shooting i set him on fire for the first time second time long range shooting I get his uh, plane destroyed. At this time of the battle, I just guaranteed myself uh, four kills, and there is one spit fire left. And this is the reason why I like stealth. Like this video is about stealth. I I I I'm think I'm going to name it differently, but seriously, guys, stealth is the best thing that uh, you could ever put on your plane. But I I digress. Yeah, <laughs> the G55. It's it's one hell of a plane. Backs one hell of a punch. Uh, only problem is it overheats bad, and it that could be fixed by a little bit of manual engine control. But it is it is it is manageable. It is really really good. And uh, to be honest, I really like flying this plane because it has a, a mixed uh, feeling. It like a mixed playstyle. You feel like you're playing a bf109 with a twist a bf109 that can turn slightly better but at the same time it's worse at retaining its energy in the vertical which is a pretty pretty intriguing play style and uh, you don't get this type of play style anywhere like italian planes are very special they are uh, more towards air superiority they're not really good for ground pounding, except for the later jets, but yeah, those are some, some of them are American, some of them are here and there, like from other nations, some of them are Italian, Italian, but yeah, it's, it's, it's enjoyable to fly the Italians, and uh, as an air superiority main, I, I really enjoy them. Yeah, anyway, guys, uh, that's going to be it for the video, uh, we've talked quite a lot and uh well thank you for watching fly safe have fun and i'll see you guys on the next one